So here we go again. The same thing we always see with these movies. You can't just go have fun anymore. You've got to get a lecture too. It just doesn't seem to learn. They want to just push these narratives into movies, kind of make them a lecture when you go to see a movie. I mean, no one wants to get lectured at the movie. It costs a lot of money to go to the movies. It's not cheap anymore. In fact, a lot of movie theaters are kind of doubling down on making this a luxury. And I, I like it where they put these like recliner sofa chairs in there and you really don't feel like squished. You can put your legs up. They give you like uh, the leg rest comes up. It's very nice. You can order food and have it delivered to you in the theater from the kitchen and stuff or whatever they have out there. You know, the concessions is really cool now. Some theaters have that stuff. Some don't. I like it. But the tickets went up a little bit, but they were already expensive. And then the cost of food, I mean, just two people can usually run you about 40 bucks. Imagine a family. So one thing audiences don't want when they go to a movie is to be lectured. And it seems like a growing trend for these movies in Hollywood is to give you a lecture. The common term here is get woke, go broke. And it's kind of funny that Dave Bautista's Stuber movie, which is disguised as a buddy cop movie, is pushing toxic masculinity as a theme of the movie. I'm not even kidding. I'm not going to read this article. I'm going to go over another one. We're going to look at this one. I like this one a little bit better because it has some nice quotes for us to go over. So Action Star promises his upcoming movie will constantly address toxic masculinity. Constantly. Do you like that word right there? Constant? <laughs> <laughs> is that really what audiences want? And I don't think they get this. This never sells. But here's the thing. They literally call it a Trojan horse. Like they Trojan horsed this theme in there. Like whose ideas come, who, who comes up with these ideas? So what do you do if you're a hulking giant dude in a big Hollywood movie? You kick A and take names. Oh, wait, that's the 80s. These days, you address toxic masculinity, you bunch of misogynists. That's what actor Dave Bautista of Guardian in the Galaxy intends to do. Teaming mean with Silicon Valley's Kumail Ninjani, I think I'm saying that right, Dave's bringing Stuber to the big screen. The Hollywood Reporter reports the film with Batista as a rogue cop and Nanjani as a straight-laced Uber driver is meant to be a modern action movie taking on toxic masculinity and calling out some classic action hero tropes. Because I know that's what I want to see. I mean, I don't want to see, you know, awesome movies. That, and I like how they're saying, move over, muscled up Arnold. We found your antidote. What do I need an antidote for that for? I want to see... I want to see the muscled up Marvel movie, Arnold movies. Those were the best. Predator, Running Man, Total Recall. I mean, you can go on and on about those movies. And Hollywood has tried to replicate that many, many times. We all thought The Rock was going to be the next big Arnold action hero. And it never really happened. They did a movie where he literally passed the torch to him. And he's like walking out of a building. He said, y'all yours. I, I, forget, I think it was called The Rundown. I might be wrong. Tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong. But uh, that's what people want. They don't want to see people complaining about that, which is what they're saying in this. So move over, muscled up Arnold. We found your antidote. Kumail told THR the definition of masculinity has far too long been narrow, and that hurts us all. I feel like we're in a time where we need to talk about masculinity and how it's always been very traditionally defined in a narrow way, and how that's led to problems for everyone, for women and for men. I felt like it would be interesting to try to talk about that stuff in a traditionally masculine genre. A buddy cop action comedy is such a dude movie. So we thought it would be interesting to talk about dude issues that also affect the whole world in a traditionally male genre. Yeah, because that's what, <laughs> that's what people want. In a, in a summer full of movies like spider man Spider-Man, Endgame, you know, you got that pretty cool-looking Quentin Tarantino movie coming out. I think it's, what's it called, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? That movie looks pretty good. Doesn't look like it's going to beat me over the head with messaging. 
But now I'm going to go plop down $40 to go listen to a 120-minute narrative of you telling me how bad it is to be a dude. That's that's exactly that's exactly what people want to go spend $40 on. Because let's face it, you're taking somebody with you. If it's a buddy, you know, it's split, and then you're probably buying the $10 ticket and the food. But, it, you know, if you're going with, with uh, you know, your date, your wife, or you're taking your family, I don't know too many families that would go see this probably, uh, you're, you're looking at a pretty penny. And this is the last thing that I want to see. And, you know, from watching the trailers, you would never get that. And we're going to see down here below, they're going to literally call this a Trojan horse theme because they didn't want people to know about it. They want you to come see it. So Dave also confirmed this, that the toxicity uh, of madness will be constantly addressed in the flick. Throughout the film, we're constantly talking about it. Sometimes you don't realize it because we're making you laugh or disguising it with action. But we really do have the discussion throughout the film. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> this isn't what people want at all. But of course, Hollywood doubles down on this because some loud people on Twitter, who, by the way, Hollywood, are just going to sail the high seas with it. They're not going to go see it. So those people aren't going to make you any money because everything should be free to those people. That's They literally champion that. So if you want people that are you know, going to pay to go see your stuff, uh, you're kind of you're kind of going after the wrong people here. So the traditional recipe for hit movies, compelling male character is a guy who every guy wants to be. And every girl wants to be with. Does this sound like a bullseye? Here's girl, Betty Gilpin or Jilpin, the movie's love interest toting a woke win. The film's Trojan horses, a woke narrative in it. It still checks all of the boxes of a classic action movie but it has the secret thread of men talking about their aggression and anger that are no longer helpful or are standing in their way. I think that's such an important missing piece that we have right now for men joining the dialogue. And I think Kumal, as a person, has really stepped up vocally to talk about what men need to change and talk about. And honestly, it's very sexy. Uh, women don't want some like little wuss guy. They, they want a strong guy. And that's just kind of the way things are. <laughs> Is science kind of proves this? Uh, look up, you know, the dark triad and how attracted women are to that. But you know, they're gonna keep pushing this up, saying, "Hey, we like these little, these little sad dudes." That's that's what women really want. They want these little sad dudes. So there you go. Get ready to swoon, ladies. One thing the movie undoubtedly possesses is the plus column is Dave himself is a really good actor and he's absolutely hilarious in the Guardian series. Where there be enough dudes who want to pay $20 LA price to be told their dudeness is making the world worse, we'll see. And then we actually get some good recommendations here. In the meantime, if you really want to tox it up, I recommend the following. Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Terminator, First Blood, True Lies, From Russia with Love, and anything with angry Lindsey Graham in it. So I read that list because I actually liked that list that they put at the bottom. So uh, Alex Parker here, who wrote this, uh, does ask a very good question at the end of the article. And uh, by the way, I didn't know it cost $20 to go see a movie in L.A. Is that $20 for one person? Wow. That's ridiculous. I got to say, get out of L.A. if you live there. Why do you live in L.A.? There's poop everywhere. But anyway, uh, is someone willing to fork out $20 to get told that their dudeness is bad? I don't think so. So this movie, did, did anybody think Stuber was going to be a massive hit? And it's true, Batista is funny. If anyone has seen the two Guardian movies and even the Avengers movie he was in, because he wasn't in Endgame very much, but he was in Infinity War quite a bit, knows that he was very good in those movies. And it's possible he could be funny here, but, you know, I, I wouldn't need to see it. I, I doubt I'll ever watch Stuber, especially now. I don't think I'll ever watch Stuber. Well, maybe this will work for him, huh? Maybe they'll be the first to change that whole woke narrative of going broke if you get there. But we'll see. Maybe they'll be the first. I don't know, but I highly doubt it. 
And from like I said, I watched that trailer. I never saw this coming. I'm glad that this got out and that we can so we can spread the word on this. So now people will know. So anyway, make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Like the video and share it. Those do massive great things for the channel and the video as you know how it is now. And check out the links below. Check out the link to my Twitch trying to build that platform up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.